My dear courtiers, I know this worldwide COVID-19 pandemic has us all on edge, but if we can remember to apply good basic hygiene techniques and modern medical practices, then we can survive this stressful time. In case you have forgotten, here are a few tips that will help keep you safe. A word about cleanliness. It is important to keep ourselves free of contamination by washing regularly. No, not with warm water. That exposes your pores to bad humors. Instead, rely upon the infallible solution of Aquavita. Be sure to dry wash all the exposed parts of your limbs, like your fingers, hands, wrists, elbows, and even the back of your neck. Although, perhaps you should do this in a more private area and not in front of a window. After all, you are bathing. Clear the air of miasma. If you must go out of doors for some reason, be sure to cover your nose and mouth with your kerchief to protect against bad air and foul smells. As we all know, that's how illness is really spread. Follow this by a dashing of perfume to keep the bad air and all of that nasty miasma at bay. Stay hydrated. You must keep yourself hydrated well. Don't drink water. It is very bad for you. Hot tea may be preferable, but consult your physician first for proper instruction on the consumption of tea before you get consumption. One is better off just staying hydrated through the reliability of spirits and alcohol, such as wine. It is best to consume wine as soon as possible, even early in the day, so that it can help you carpe diem the day without any ill effects. The water closet. You shouldn't hoard your toilet paper. You shouldn't use paper anyway. Should your servant fail to leave out a linen towel for your intimate moments, you can rely upon your trusty kerchief to do the job. And you can never have too many kerchiefs. Bloodletting. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, we will still fall prey to illness. And at that point, we should immediately contact our physician. He may prescribe medicines to help alleviate our symptoms. However, we should be prepared for and cooperate with a strategy that will do the best job of releasing the bad humors that have plagued our bodies. Your physician will use a small knife to make an incision into your arm. What this incision does allows the humors to realign themselves as the bad humors escape from the body. And it will simply let our illness drain away. I hope you heed these words of wisdom that are supported by modern science. Should you choose to disregard these recommendations, just know that I wish you all health and wellness, as well as a day that is free from contagion and disgusting machinations.